This video is about Canvas video conferencing softwares that are available for us. The first software we will talk about as we launch into our online course is the conferencing tool. Conferences tool can be found in the left course navigation sidebar. Click on conferences and click plus conference to start a new video conference. You can set the duration, you can enable recording for this conference, or you could even have no time limit for a long running conference. Uh, down in the bottom, invite all course members is checked by default, so all course members will be invited to this web conference. Once you've created it, you can, create, you can click start and launch into the video conference tool, big blue button. You can uh, turn on your microphone by enabling it in Chrome. You can test your audio to make sure you can hear yourself, as well as even turn on your webcam, share files, uh, load a presentation, there's a lot of options uh, to, uh, in big blue button, the Canvas conference video tool. Here I'm starting up my webcam. Uh, you can see I'm gonna have to allow it in Chrome again, just like I did my microphone. Um, once I've added my webcam, uh, it goes along with the presentation that I've uh, inserted into big blue button. And so you can get both kind of have your webcam be seen at the top as well as the presentation you're giving at the bottom. Uh, once you're done with the big blue button conference, you can just close the tab uh, up at the top in Chrome or Safari or Firefox, whatever browser you're using. Once you close that tab, you'll be uh, launched back into Canvas and you can click end to end the conference call. Another tool that's available to us is uh, Google Meet. Google Meet, you will start by initiating a calendar invite within your Google uh, APU Google Calendar. So you can see I've gone into my Google Calendar, I'm creating a new calendar invite. I'm gonna name that calendar invite, uh, something that goes along with the course that I'm teaching um, and maybe uh, adding something like online video class to let the students know what this call is about. Um, and then when I click more options, I come into the options of the calendar invite and I can click the drop down under conferencing and add Hangouts uh, Meet as an option. I'm gonna just type in that this call is happening virtually online. And now I have the uh, Hangouts link that I can share in my Canvas course. So I'm gonna quickly just copy that link. I'm gonna pop back in and save the, uh, the uh, calendar invite. I'm gonna pop back into my uh, Canvas course and click announcements. Once I click announcements, I'm gonna uh, create a new announcement, uh, maybe label it a video conference call, something to that effect, uh, put the time that this conference call is gonna happen, and then I'm gonna share the link to the Google Meet uh, video call within this announcement. You can see that I've done that here. Once I click save, uh, maybe put some text about join here at 2 p.m., the time that this call is gonna happen, and so instead of inviting all my students through Google Calendar, I'm just gonna use the announcements tool to send that link out to them and tell them what time it's at, and then they will all join via that link. So the final tool we have available to us is Zoom. If you already have a Zoom license account, this is a great option for you. Zoom is probably the most powerful uh, to tool within Canvas. So if you go to settings in your course, and then click uh, navigation on the top tabs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn on the Zoom tool in this course. So you can see I'm going to scroll down to the secondary list and find the Zoom tool. I'm going to drag it up into the um, primary list where I want it located in that left hand course navigation uh, list and I'm going to click save. Once I click save, Zoom is going to populate on the left hand side. I can open Zoom now and begin creating reoccurring video calls uh, that are gonna happen during class time. So now I'm in the Zoom tool. Um, I might have had to authenticate it and authorize it in Canvas. Once I've done that, I can now come in. Uh, the title is automatically the, the course name and call number. I'm gonna add the date and the time that this call is gonna happen. I can change the duration of how long this call is gonna happen. And then I can even set up a reoccurring meeting to have this meeting set up, uh, happen weekly um, and then I can even adjust the dates. Maybe this is the Tuesday, Thursday class. I'm gonna have this go till uh, the end of May uh, through the rest of the semester. And now I've set up uh, all my reoccurring calls uh, to happen synchronously online. So once I click save, now you can also uh, turn on uh, participant video and host video. 
uh, that's an option. Make sure uh, audio, both telephone and computer is turned on. Both is the best option so people can both call in and attend via their computer. You can also record these Zoom meetings uh, directly to your computer, so if you want to disseminate them to students afterwards, that is a possibility. So I'm going to just come scroll back up and go to my course meetings, and I can see all the reoccurring meetings I've set up um, from Monday, March 16th to the end of May. Uh, so Zoom is the best option. If you do need a, a Zoom premium account, please contact our office, canvas at apu.edu. We will hook you up with a Zoom account and get you in there. Um, we want to support you in all these tools. Uh, please give us a call if you need help hooking these tools up into your course. Thank you so much.